everybody's hobby structure uh picked up a few um mega boxes off target website for 2022 tops update thought i would uh, rip them all and see if they're worth anything and see there's something that i want to get more of and stick on the shelf for another day but anyway i hope everybody's holidays have been good um I didn't get a whole lot of uh, trading or trade card or sports card type stuff for Christmas, but except for what I picked up for myself, which is that's fine. But um, been anxious to get into this. I've historically had some decent luck out of these mega boxes with some good cards, and hopefully it'll continue. So let's uh, zoom in here a little bit more. So I, I know that this year that they have a new um, hobby box version of this, but all I've heard are complaints associated with them. said that it's not even better than these. Okay, a rookie right out of the gate, two out of the great gate, Drew Perez, three out of the gate. Connor Pilkington, and our purple is Matt Chapman, the only non-rookie. Hopefully we can get us a auto or something different out of here. A couple of nice numbered cards. Shea Bass, debut. What do I do with my Chapman? Oh, he's the purple. Josh Winder, Winder, Ian Happ, and Lucius Fox is the purple. Not a bad one. Just kind of going through some year-end cleanup stuff to try to get my desk in order. Just get things ready for starting off on a fresh note in the new year. Brendan Donovan, Abrams, and Morales, purple. Mackenzie Gore, Sands, Generation Now of Jordan. And our purple of Luke Williams. Let's put our inserts over there. Royce Lewis, debut. Scherzer. Mats. And JP Sears, purple. Be nice to get a Julio variation or something like that. Freddie Freeman, of course, everybody wants that. And this was interesting. I thought that they did. Everybody, I think people were complaining about the die cuts that they made the die cuts on an actual card, which I think is pretty odd. But whatever. I'm not a huge insert guy, but. Those are those are okay. And a purple of the Yankees picture, whose last name I can't be able to pronounce. So if you've uh, opened up a hobby box of this, let me know what you think in the comments. So I don't know if it's worth the effort or. Just stick with the mega boxes, which they always seem to be easier to get. Alec Thomas, I know last year's mega boxes stayed available for months and months. That's nice Brandon Marsh, tricky debut. I don't know if these will just because they're good and kind of a nice body whip uh, debut on the back there. And that's going to be a purple, I think. That'll be cool, Jose Trevino. But I don't know if. Um, this one will sell out faster just because we've got a better selection of rookies. 
Tim Anderson. Got a nice purple Bobby Witt debut. Two more packs in the first box. Stallings. Odor. Manea. And Ethan Roberts. Sanchez, Generation Now of Juan Soto. If you haven't um, watched Urban's break from last night, I actually pulled a Juan Soto Redemption out of Panini Box, which was really cool. I just hope it comes faster than the last Redemption that I got out of there. I've got two Redemptions that I had with Panini. One was of Aaron Judge that I finally got took two years, and then there's another one of a, I think it's a pitcher from Gypsy Queen. No, not Gypsy Queen, but um, Diamond Kings, and I never got it. Still haven't got it, and that was in 2019, so there's no way to contact stupid customer support, get any information out of them. They have a message thing out there. I continually send messages to nothing. So I'm hoping and praying that my Soto, I better luck with getting my Soto. But enough of my Sotos. The tops of them here, they turn around redemptions. They have a bunch of redemptions in their stuff, but they turn them around pretty quick. As far as I'm concerned. John Gray. A purple of Gilmore. O'Neill Cruz. Debut. Brendan Donovan. Alec Thomas. Generation now and Luke Williams. So nothing, nothing too exciting in these boxes yet. Mackenzie Gore, Cole Sands, Martinez, nice CJ Abrams purple base. That's nice, nice. I like that. Nothing too exciting yet as far as a low numbered card or anything. Got a couple of good variations, but not enough to make me keep coming back for this product. Royce Lewis, another Scherzer, Roy Capanella, that's a cool card. Die cut. I like that insert. And my favorite Yankees pitcher. Did really well this year. I'll just butcher his name every time I try to say it. So. No sense in even trying it. Paeta. Ferretti. Oh, there's nice J Rod. J Rod base. But I will take it. It should have been a purple, but you know. That whole. Beggars and choosers thing. Got another debut, it looks like. Purple on Bobby Witt. Be nice to get the base, but you know. Meadows. Got Trey Turner turned, turned upside down. Silver prism. Another Bobby Witt purple debut. Trey Turner must be a prism. You would think four cards would be easy to get out of a stupid pack. Trevino. 
put Golo, Gonsolin, and Muziotti. Muziotti, Muziotti. Stallings. Another Odor. MJ Melendez. That's a good one. Generation now. And Pumpkinston. More packs in this box. Stinky again. Mackenzie Gore again. And a Vidal Brujan. Purple. Debut. Wander too. So they got a CJ Abrams debut coming up. Kikuchi, San Musial, CJ Abrams debut. So got his purple base and his uh, purple debut, which is cool. Okay, last box. Yeah, let me know your luck with these this year as compared to other years. You know, I bought a ton of 2019. Still have a few left on the shelf. Had some good luck out of 2019. Um, 2021, I had pretty good luck. Last year was okay. Stephen Klein, base purple. Pretty cool card. Another Stallings. And we've got an all-star game. I thought that was a... thought that was going to be a uh, short print at first. That looks like a prism. I could be wrong. I never can tell the prisms very well, but it looks like one. But that's pretty cool if it is. Got Chris Archer. Still on the lookout for a Series 2 short print. I've definitely got the, uh, got the set version sealed box but I really like the short print version and I don't want to spend 300 bucks on one so and there is a Rowdy Tellez purple that's purplesome short print the value of the video. Boat ship generation now. And sun grenade. Still no numbered cards. Uh, three boxes. I haven't seen a numbered card yet. Maybe some on some of these inserts that I've missed, which that's um, pretty frequent occurrence for me. But I don't know. MJ Melendez. That is a nice one. I'm hearing some good things about him. And a Matt Chapman purple. Josh Lowe, nice Nolan Ryan, die cut. And Josh Rojas. Cabrera, Alec Thomas, and a 
Purple of Morales. Three more packs. Maybe we get something good here. Something really, really good. Stroman. Baez. Ramirez. Prism. And Castellanos. Like something good's gonna happen coming in that third card slot. But... Quan, Telez, Sawinski, and JP Sears. And the last pack. Chapman, Morales. Evers, Generation Now, and Adam Hasley. So no numbered cards that I saw. search real quick to see if I missed anything and again if you saw anything please let me know of course you don't have to make me feel like an idiot but you can let me know I appreciate it nothing in there I know we had some prisms and stuff in there but nothing huge but anyway we got some Bobby Witts uh, a couple of Julio's CJ Abrams so, you know, a decent haul. But I, I really appreciate you spending the time to watch this with me to see what I would get. Uh, I really appreciate the time in that. And I appreciate you coming and visiting. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll, I'll beg you to subscribe to me and like this video so I can have more content and put out there and hopefully something that you'll be interested in. Anyway, happy holidays. I'll be searching her out.